Shalom, first and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakal Kadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace, love, and salutation to all you Aki and is pushing this truth and true sincerity. Matthew 24 and 12, and because iniquity, all right, iniquity is sin, shall abound. Are we not living in a place that's full of sin? You've got two men kissing on each other, two women kissing on each other. What's the new trend? You got two men with one woman. One is the boyfriend, one is the husband. That's iniquity. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Nobody's going to give a good goddamn about anybody out here, especially in these last days. Verse 13, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. This is all about endurance in this ministry. Lord willing, we're part of that number to be saved from this current destruction because it's getting really bad out here. Now, I got an article. I titled this lesson, uh, Part 3, The Hopeful Year of Jacob's Trouble. I'm just going to do a series of these lessons based on the uh, phrase for this year that Apostle Tahar coined for 2024. The hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. And you're going to see more of these uh, businesses closed down. Got this little stupid ad. You're going to see more of these businesses closed down. Or, you know, mom and pop shops, regional stores, nationwide stores. You're going to see more of these stores closed down. Let me just click off these little videos. in and out Burger in Oakland. Now, in and out if you haven't been to California, the West Coast, it's a famous burger chain in uh, California. In and out Burger in Oakland, Oakland, California, to close doors for good of over out of control crime company says the love of many is waxing cold. So it says in and outs only location in Oakland is closing after the cherished food fast food joint decided it could no longer risk the safety of fed up workers and patrons in the city plagued by recent crime. Now, you know, in California. All hell is all breaking loose out here, man. They're doing all types, not out here, but out there. They're doing all types of smash and grabs. It's just, uh, uh, it's, it's really uh, like that one movie, man, um, Mad Max. It's the wild, wild west out there. I said the location will shut its doors in March, despite the burger spot turning a profit because of the constant crime in the community. in and out Chief Operating Officer Danny, Denny Warnick said in a sudden announcement over the weekend. The fast food joint has been in, Cali in the California city for 18 years. Despite taking repeated steps to create safer conditions, our customers and associates are regularly victimized by car break-ins, property damage, theft, and armed robberies. And guess who's the face of that? Take one guess. It says, which obtained the announcement. Additionally, the, this location remains a busy and profitable one for the country, but our top priority must be the safety and well-being of our customers and associates. We cannot ask them to visit or work in an unsafe environment, he says. So why the hell would you even put an in and out in Oakland? All right, knows a bunch of savages, okay? A bunch of savage black, Hispanic, and Native Americans out there. Oakland. So you're going to see more of that, not just in Oakland, but you're going to see more closings down to crime. All right. Let's get this one right here. This is the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. Hopefully all hell breaks loose. Um, now, the one scripture I wanted to get is in um, Isaiah 19. All right. Isaiah 19. And uh, 14, the Lord, the Lord's name is Yahweh, have mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof. And they have caused Egypt to err and every work thereof as a drunken man staggered from his vomit. Yet there's a very perverse spirit here in Babylon. All right. And anything you can think of hustle wise is pretty much dead. Like the uh, reselling of shoes, that that's pretty much dead, man. All right. It says, neither, verse 15, neither shall there be any work for Egypt, which the head or tail, branch or rush may do. And Egypt, all right, that's a cold word in the Bible for America. All right, we can go to um, Revelation, let me see, Revelation 11 and verse 8. And it reads, and their dead bodies shall lie 
in the street of the great city. That great city is known as Babylon the Great. It's not the Vatican. Nobody is trying to book tickets and move to the Vatican. But spiritually, it's called Sodom. All right. What is Sodomy known for? What, what place is known for Sodomy in Pride Month? Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, which spiritually is called Sodom in Egypt because, hey, look at the back of your, of your dollar bill. There's a pyramid. They got cities called named Cairo, Memphis. Even out there in Las Vegas, they have the Luxor Casino where you have the Pharaoh, all right, as a logo. It says, which spiritually is called Sodom in Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified, all right? They, they said that you're supposed to worship Jesus Christ here. Nobody's giving you the true description of the Lord except for the prophets, the servants. Everybody's in this Jesus worship. Uh, here in Atlanta, they did a, uh, it was like two weeks ago. They had about 60,000 people inside the Mercedes-Benz Stadium worshiping Jesus. All right. So this place is spiritual Egypt, man. All right. And the new Pharaoh is the so-called white man. So back to Isaiah 19. And verse 15, I believe. Isaiah 19 and 15, neither shall there be any work for Egypt, which the head or tail branch or worship they do. And there's not going to be any work out here. And best believe all this crime, all these robberies, all these stick up kids. And you can blame the black woman for that. All these little snotty nosed kids out here, all these little uh, uh, 125 kids with no father out here with orange dreadlocks. OK smoking weed, sipping activists, and watching rap videos, and it's going to his head. You can blame the black woman for that, all right? These little GMO babies that's running out here robbing people. I even got an email from my apartment complex about so-called crime, all right? It's going to get so bad that, hey, hey, that In-N-Out chain is going to, is going to, is going to go into other stores. It's going, to be, it's going to be Macy's, and it's going to be you know, Dick Sporting Goods. Oh, man, we got to close down Dick Sporting Goods because all the crime. All right. Crime is going to be a heavy element out here, along with prostitution, because you women. All right. The scriptures talk about the venture self fail. All right. A lot of you women are going to resort to prostitution out here. That's just that's just is what it is. You're not going to be a super action hero. You're not going to be Wonder Woman out here. All right. You're going to be selling your box for the low. And that's all I really got to say about that. But the point of the lesson is, all right, this is the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble, and you're going to see a rise in crime. And guess what? You blacks and Hispanics are going to be the face of crime. You're going to be the real terrorists out here in these last days, and they're going to blame you. Okay? Let's go to um, Revelation 12 and uh, 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe, the, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil, all right, it's a metaphor applied to a man, that word diablos, is come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he have but a short time. He has a short time to fulfill his new world order. And, and most of this stuff, sometimes this stuff is staged as well. All right, like those George Floyd protests back in 2020, you people went out here to go protest over that big lip simple-minded negro george floyd and they actually had bricks laying outside the building a lot of this stuff is going to be staged it's going to be more racial um uh motivated shootings out here so-called innocent black man getting put to death yada 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 this man he, he knows he has to create his order out of chaos and then you just got regular uh jakes out here just robbing stealing killing on a daily basis so he has to perform his new world order and guess what you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are not part of that. All right. Well, what, what he has a short period of time anyway. His new world order is going to fail. But the scripture I wanted to get is, I think it's an 11. Yeah. Revelation 12 and 10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now has come salvation and strength in the kingdom of our God and the power of his anointed. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night. Let's let's see if I can um let me uh switch a Bible just real quick. I just want to get a definition. <clears throat> just to prove the point. You know, lower wellness lessons edifying, but it's about to get more ugly out here. All right, more job losses, more pink slips. 
and people are gonna start resorting to a, a crime. All right, they're gonna be able to go to Audi. So what you go, what you think they're gonna do? They're gonna be, hey, just in California, man, they let these people, they let these people go to these uh, drug stores in California. Will be like Walgreens. They stock up their cart full of stuff and walk out, and they don't even do nothing. I mean, some people, some people they find, some people they don't. They do that out there in California, and it's, it's coming to a state near you. Revelation 12 and um, what was it, 11? Yeah, verse 9. Revelation 12 and 10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now has come salvation and strength in the kingdom of our power and the power of his anointed for the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night. Yeah, Esau, the so-called white man, all right? on the left-hand side is accusing us of doing this and that when he, he he creates a situation. You know, it's just like, they'll you know, Esau like to say, and it's true, you know, you niggas is out there doing all types of fuckery, but hey, who decided to gentrify the hood? And what happens when you bring a bunch of knuckleheads from the hood? They're going to move to the suburbs and then it's going to be a, a rising crime in the suburbs. All right. He, cre he creates the situation and then blames you on it Say, hey, look, they doing this and that. Let's get this word accuser in a blue letter. But this is the whole for your Jacob's trouble. It's going to be more situations where they're going to say, hey, these blacks, these Hispanics, these Native Americans, they're no good. They're bringing all these immigrants up here from South America. They, they're, they're, they're up there in New York. Hey, it's already happening in New York. You have one guy. All right. Who, who's just causing mayhem, man. This so-called Latino man, it, it, you know. This is the whole for your Jacob's trouble. This is what we've been talking about. They're going to start accusing you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans of all types of uh, uh, situations out here. All right. Um, let's get this word accused. Strong's G, 2725. Categoras. 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 Thayer's lexicon, related entry. Categor. It says an accuser. And Esau is one hell of an accuser, man. All right. When he was he was blaming so-called black man that, uh, you know, he back in the back in the days in the 40s and 50s, he, he would say that his woman got raped by uh, three got black guys and they spent their whole life in prison. Esau, the so-called white man, is one hell of an accuser. And as you saw last year. Well, with these uh, man up in, up there last year in Philadelphia. All right. When they had that big, fat black woman who was inciting people to riot. You don't think Esau has something to do with that, man? All right. He creates this situation. Say, hey, you, you know what? We go lock these people down into these uh, internment camps because that's what's coming next. All right. And that was another one that I wanted to get. Uh, it, was, it was actually accuser, not accused. Just bear me for a sec. Yeah, accuser. This is the one I want, but that was a good one. Strong's G twenty-seven twenty-three. Categorio. 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 All right. To accuse before a judge to make an accu accu accusation. Of an extrajudicial accusation. All right, he's going to accuse. All right, he's going to eventually he's going to accuse the prophets, man. All right, the blame is going to shift from those Amalekites under those tunnels. All right, doing God knows what to it, focus on the Hebrew Israelites, man. So ultimately, it's going to shift towards the prophets. But before that, it's going to be a uh, order out of chaos. All this crime, they're going to say that you black Hispanics and Native Americans are the problem. All right, we need to lock them up. Let's go to Jeremiah. Um, was it Jeremiah? And rightfully so with a lot of y'all, man, because this gospel has been preached and you still can't get it, man. All right. Because it was it wasn't even meant for you. A lot of you guys were just born in vain, like it mentions. And um, um, so let's get it right quick. Got my pocket for right here. Let's go to um, just to prove my point. Second as it's nine and twenty two. Because y'all getting worse out here, man. And I see, I see two or three of you blacks out here. I'll I, I, I run across the street. If I see the black woman, I don't even look at her. All right? 
You know, the black woman to sit up there and try to stare you down like she's trying to size you up in these days, man. These women, they think they men until, hey, this crime element is going to hit you women too. Because, hey, hey, Keisha out there and Shaquisha, all right, and Ron Disha, you got another thing coming, man. All these angry baby daddies, all these angry boyfriends, when all hell breaks loose, they coming for you. They coming for you, all right? It ain't going to be no candlelight vigils or uh, balloon parties for your black ass, all right? And that's just reality. This is the reality of 2024 and the times I'll be going into. Lord willing, we're part of the, the elect, all right? Those were predestinated to be saved from the foundation of the earth. Now, this is Second Ezra chapter 9 and verse 22, and it reads, Let the multitude perish then, which was born in vain, all right? You, you extra crunchy black niggas out here, all right? And I got to say it like that. You extra crunchy black niggas. All right, out here robbing, stealing, killing. You heard the gospel. You heard about your Hebrew Israelite. But, hey, you still caught up your iniquity, man. So you're going to perish because you were born in vain. And let not my grape be kept and my plant, for with great labor have I made it perfect. Yeah, that's the second part is talking about the elect. You got, like the uh, priest Sakari always says, two-thirds of our people just wild grapes, man. And you got to get crushed, all right? Look up the term ethnic cleansing. That's what the Lord is going to start bringing out here. All right. The Lord is going to put the spirit on the so-called white man to get rid of two thirds of blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans. And hopefully it happens this year because I'm tired of looking at y'all. So Jeremiah 15. And one, it says judgment must come because you, you blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans, especially the women of our nation, are just running amok out here. These children are bad. They have no home training. Where the hell are the parents at? Like this video that um, the elder brother Manat Zakba did on the Lord can touch your family members. And he was talking about this woman that had six kids and one of her 14 year old kids got shot. What the hell are you doing having 15 year olds hanging around thugs and felons with guns? You know, so this is Jeremiah 15 and one. Then said the Lord unto me, though Moses and Samuel stood before me. Yet my mind could not be towards his people. All right. The Lord is not, the Lord is fed up. All right. Even us, we got to, we got to tighten it up, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem El Shai, because the Lord is hot with the nation of Israel right now. That's why it's the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. It says, yet my mind could not be towards his people, cast them, cast them out of my sight and let them go forth. And it shall come to pass that they say unto thee, whether shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them, thus saith the Lord, such are such as are for death to death. There's gonna be a lot of death of blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans out here by the God of the Bible. And he's gonna use the so-called white man, according to uh Psalm 17 and 13, because Esau Edom, that's his proper biblical name, is the devil that the Bible speaks of, and he has the blessing of the sword. He has robots out here, he has robot dogs, he has concentration camps. OK, he has uh, devices. I believe it's called an LRAD device. All right. Where they can just send a frequency out in the air and start bugging people out. But the guy of the Bible is not playing, man. All right. There's going to be more crime, more theft. All right. That's why we got to be visiting out here. It says, thus saith the Lord, such as are for death to death and such as are for the sword to the sword. And such as are for the famine to the famine. You know, the priest, the Iqab on the Thursday camp mentioned uh, famine is going to hit more of these people than the sword, man. So look forward to that. You know, Jake love to eat, you know, especially these women. So imagine these women out here dying of famine in these last days. It says to famine and such as are for the captivity to the captivity. All right, you're going to be captive in these um, internment camps. All right, FEMA's not going to be cutting you a check in these last days, man. All right, it's not, it's not going to be any more stimulus checks. I see this commercial on YouTube all the time for some $6,400 stimulus. The government is not giving you niggas any more checks out here, man. Because when they lock this place down once again, it ain't going to be no stimmies so your black ass can sit in the house all day and goof off. All right, so that's pretty much it on that. I could go another 20, 30 minutes, all right? But I want to set the tone as far as these lessons, man. Just straight and raw and to the point because we're in a whole for your Jacob's trouble, man. And this trouble is going to f affect Jacob. All right. 
Now let's 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 identify who uh Jacob's sons are. Just real quick, Genesis 49 and 1. Israel's prophecy concerning his son. Now Jacob's name was later changed to Israel. It was he is a prince of the power. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. Are we not in the last days? Gather yourselves together and hear you sons of Jacob and hearken unto Israel, your father. And it goes on to Reuben, all right, all the way down to Issachar, man, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. I, well, it's Reuben. It goes from Reuben. Let's see where it stops at. All right, Zebulon, all right, so-called indigenous people, uh, uh, Guatemala to Panama, Issachar to so-called Mexicans. All right. All right, Gad, the so-called Native American Indians, Asher, the so-called indigenous people of uh, Colombia, to Uruguay, Naftali, the indigenous people from Chile uh, to Argentina. All right, Joseph represents uh, Ephraim, the so-called Puerto Ricans, uh, and Manasseh, you so-called Cubans. You're, you're God's chosen people, all right? And one more scripture. You got to come back to the God of the Bible because he's not playing. This isn't Christianity where you can do whatever the hell you want to do, man. The God of the Bible is not playing around with you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, and yes, you so-called Mexicans. This is Zechariah 13 and 8. It says, and it shall come to pass and in all the land, it's talking about here in America, saith the Lord, the Lord's name is Yahweh, and his son, who you ignorantly called Jesus Christ, his real name is Yahweh Shai. Two parts therein shall be cut off and die. So two thirds of blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans here in America are slated for death. And it's, there's going to be grievous deaths. It ain't going to be you falling asleep in the bed and there's a funeral for you, man. No. But the third shall be left therein. That's talking about that one third, man. Right? So with that, Lord, when I was edifying, Lord, when I can come back with another uh, part four, because there's going to be more articles. All right, leading up to Jacob's trouble, man. Then you got uh, the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast in Revelation 13 and 16. That's going to be issued out pretty soon. And then on top of that, after that, you're going to have World War III, the war to end all wars and the end of Esau, Edom, the self-proclaimed white man. And it's, Jacob is going to start ruling. All right. So with that, Shalom.